guys, this is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you typical Russian shopping mall. It's very common to have in St. Petersburg and Moscow huge malls in the suburbs of the town and have there a huge uh, IKEA and all brands there and huge supermarkets. But right now I'm not in Moscow or St. Petersburg. I'm now in Vladivostok and our town is a bit smaller. So I'm going to show you our version of this mall and what we have here. Probably you have this kind of mall in your country as well where people go there for holiday to do a big shopping or for kids to play and to have some fun. Our mall called Sedanka City. Sedanka is the name of one of the suburb districts in Vladivostok. That's interesting. I don't know this brand of the car. It's called GAC. I first time I see it in my life. Maybe it's Chinese car. And because of sanctions, Chinese brands are more popular in Russia. Yes, this is exactly Chinese car. In normal days, we would have a European or Japanese brand standing in the middle of shopping mall. Second car is also Chinese brand. I'm not sure, maybe they half Russian, half Chinese. And this car is not cheap. I just checked the Russian price and converted it to US dollars and it's 45,000 US dollars for this complexation. This first car is a bit cheaper, it's 37,000 US dollars. I'm not pro in cars at all, but I think for this kind of price, you can buy something very decent in Europe. Cars are basically very expensive now because of sanctions. And also I read an article recently that our aviation is struggling so much right now. I wouldn't even like prefer to fly any anywhere in Russia to use an Russian airplane right now because it already can be very dangerous. On the first level, here are some jewelry shops and cosmetic shop and also watch shop and some clothes. First single H&M was located in this shopping mall as well and I will see what they have for replacement because shop was exactly here I think. This is my outfit of today guys. It's pretty warm today. I'm getting hot in this black color. I like this one. This is cute. This brand is Russian owned and I'm surprised. I really like the clothes. They started to make nice quality clothes now. Why Russian brands? I'm not excited about the showcase. Surprisingly, Russian fashion exists. Floria Jeans is another Russian owned brand. What's interesting is that those companies are Russian based but they are not produced their clothes in Russia. They have their branches, their offices in Southeast Asia and it's all produced in there like H&M clothes or Zara clothes for example. It's been all produced in China, Vietnam and other similar countries. You can see made in Vietnam. This is made in Vietnam too. Oh, I found jeans that are made in Russia, so not everything. Made in PRC, People Republic of China. Big hypermarket of electronics and video. Samsung brand has their official stores still open here. Oh my god, I got scared on this man. This is, this is creepy. It's a Hukan store. Camping store, home supplies and interior store. Japanese product store. I am inside bookstore. 
I asked them to show me if they have any books in English and oh my god, we have quite a good selection of books in English here. Alice in Wonderland, such a cute design, great Gatsby. I want to show you a store with Belarusian food, especially food from Belarus. Let's go and see what's there. Different sorts of cheese. This drink called kwas. You can see this bread on the picture because this is bread drink. It is fermented bread drink. These shelves are very full with sausages and different meats and I'm sure it's very very delicious. Below me a huge hypermarket for food and home supplies. Prices for fruits and vegetables are quite okay here, not very expensive. I think it's because this shop is huge so they can make price low. The most expensive here is this strawberry, $10 per kilogram. Potato, $0.4 per kilogram. People who are in this shop are a bit different because this supermarket located in suburb district of Vladivostok and we have a lot of cottages here like private uh, houses here and I feel like people here are a bit different than in Vladivostok huge selection of bread this is my heaven guys oh my god and the smell here is so good look this shop is endless <laughs> It's all for bread. Came back to Belarusian shop. I was really thirsty, so I decided to buy special Russian drink. It's called Birozovy Sok, which is birch juice. It says it's made in Belarus. I don't remember when I tried this last time. And I want to say that we don't drink it every day here in Russia, but it was so interesting to buy it and to try and show you guys. You can ask me how you can drink wood. I don't know, but yes, we can. Let's try it out. Ah, it's a bit weird. The taste is very gentle, it's refreshing, it tastes like a grass or wood and it's a bit sweet. If you will be in Russia, definitely try this Birozovy sauce because it's tasty. Wow, this is very exciting looking kids park. That is so cool that those tiny kids can learn how to use this safety equipment. This is very very heavy place. This food court is a paradise of Asian food. There are Japanese donuts, then Chinese restaurant, then Vietnamese, Korean, and then some fast food and Japanese ramen, like 80% of restaurants here, they are with Asian food. I'm very surprised because I actually very like this shopping mall. I like clothes there, I like shops options i like food there yeah it's pretty nice place to go it is so nice here i decided to go home by train because i'm quite far it's about one hour from the city
I will do some grocery shopping and I will go home. Thank you guys for staying with me until the end. As always, please subscribe and like this video. And I hope to see you in my next vlogs. Bye-bye!